Kelly from Carmen Kismet and today I'm going to be showing you how to do some DIY coasters. So these are sewn coasters and what I love about them is you can always throw these in the wash. So everything that you're going to use to make these coasters can be thrown right in the wash, thrown in the dryer, but I would suggest you just kind of air dry them, but if they get dirty you can easily clean them. So let's go ahead. So before we get into anything, I'm going to make sure that I print out my little pattern here that I have that also has my checklist of materials that I'm going to need. So you can grab this. I have the link below. It's going to be at karmaandkismetdesigns.com attached to this video and blog. So you can print this out and I'm doing it on a little bit of heavier paper. So if you do have heavier paper, print it out on there just because you're going to cut this pattern up here, this five by five, and then use that for all of your cuts. So it just makes it easier than just regular paper. But if you just have the regular printer paper, that's totally fine too. If you don't have a printer for some reason, not a big deal either. As long as you have a ruler, you just need to measure five by five blocks. There's not a ton of material you're gonna need to make these DIY coasters. So you're gonna need two pieces of five inch fabric squares. I'm gonna use this fabric that I have. It's just some remnants, but it's gonna be perfect and kind of use up those things that you have sitting around your house. So I have that, and then I'm going to also need some batting or felt. So I have this batting material that I'm gonna use up. Um, I'm gonna need some thread. I have that already on my sewing machine. My iron, gonna go plug that in. My rotary cutter and or scissors if you don't have a rotary cutter, and then a cutting board. Also make sure you have a straight edge because you're gonna need that to cut all the pieces. Before I start cutting my fabric, I always like to just iron it out and make sure I don't have any of those weird wrinkles in there that might mess up any of the cutting that I'm gonna do. After ironing, I'm gonna cut out my five by five pattern. Next, I'm gonna lay out my fabric and I'm gonna fold it over so that I am cutting two layers at a time. This will just make it easier and have less cuts. I'm gonna use a rotary cutter because that's what I prefer to use with a straight edge, but if you have a scissor, you can absolutely do that as well. While you're cutting, if you find that your pattern is moving around on the fabric, take one of your pins and pin the fabric to the pattern. That'll make sure that there's no movements and you're getting those straight edges that you want. Next up, you're gonna cut out your batting or felt. So follow the same directions that you did with the fabric, but this time you only need to cut out one piece, so you don't have to make double layers. If you are going to make multiple coasters, you can fold over the batting or felt to make multiple pieces at a time, but remember this is going to be a little bit thicker than your regular fabric. Once you've cut all your fabric and batting, you're going to start pinning the pieces together. Taking your pieces of fabric, you're going to lay them right side up against each other. Next, take your fabric and lay it on top of the batting or felt that you have. You're going to then start pinning these pieces together so that you have one uniform square. Now we get to do the really fun part, which is everything at the sewing machine. So I have a brother machine that I love. I bought it on Amazon about a year and a half ago, and it's just been wonderful for my use. I'm not scared to use it. I feel like I can make mistakes on it, and I'm not worried about it breaking. If you are interested in a machine, I would definitely suggest this one. I will link it below so that you can check it out as well. When you're stitching this, all you wanna do is make sure that you leave a quarter inch hem. 
So you can use the edge of your foot to make sure that you're keeping that quarter inch hem uniform throughout and just stitch right along the outside of your coaster. When we're creating this coaster, we're essentially making a small square pouch. We're going to have to fold this to be the correct way so that the correct side of the fabric is out. So what you wanna do is make sure that you leave about one to two inches of unsewn hem. So that's going to allow you to take the fabric and actually fold it correctly so that the right side of the fabric is facing outwards. finish sewing the first portion of the coaster, you're going to go around and cut diagonal cuts on each corner of the coaster. So now we're going to start trying to get this folded the correct way. So what we're going to do is take one of the corners and actually pull it through the little hole that you left. This is going to take a little bit of work and you may need to use a pencil or something like that that you can place into the corners to get straightened out but work through it you're going to use your iron to make sure this looks perfect later but you just want to get this as good as you can just working through it with your hands After you've gotten it flipped the right way, we want to fix that little piece that we left open. So all we're going to do is fold it in so it looks uniform next to the rest of the hem and pin it. Then we're going to go and we're going to start sewing around doing a top stitch over the entire coaster. Again, this is going to be a quarter inch hem, super easy. Just make sure to line your coaster up against the edge of the foot of the sewing machine, and that'll help you keep that uniform line throughout. The last two steps is to make sure that you cut off all the loose pieces of thread and then also just iron your coaster to make sure that it's perfect and uniform. Here's the final product. It's going to come out to be four inches by four inches. So you lose an inch once you sew. You're gonna have that quarter inch around and then when you're flipping it in, that's how you get down to that four inches. So these are great to use for hot drinks, cold drinks, whatever you may have. Um, because you have that extra layer between these, nothing's gonna come through onto your furniture or anything like that. So great thing to do for gifts or just for yourself to spice up your room or add a little bit of new color to your room as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you're interested in seeing more DIYs, make sure you like and subscribe below because there's more coming every week. Let me know what you guys think. If you do this DIY, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'm at Karma and Kismet and I would love to see how your products come out as well. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next week.